Hi there, this is Sana from MicroAnimations and I'm going to show you how you can save your animated GIF to any background color that you want. If you want to purchase the animation library, you have different options. So maybe you're going to build one prototype and you already know if it's going to have a light, a dark or a medium color background. Um, in this case, you can choose the entrepreneur package, um, the one that suits you. Um, by the way, if you're doubting whether the animations will look good for your background, um, I'll go a bit more into detail uh, further on in the tutorial. Or um, you might be a designer, for example, and planning to use them more often, uh, and you can choose to take all of the themes. If you'd like to save them to a brighter color background um, and you want to have full customization, you can choose the UI professional package. Uh, which also comes with the Photoshop files. So let's go into that folder and go into the Photoshop files. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use the, the blue loading bar. So let's open this in Photoshop. If you're opening an animation, by the way, make sure your timeline is open. So you go to Window and click Timeline. And there it is. First, I will show you what the animation looks like so you have uh, an idea. So I'll go into the white theme and show you. There it is. Um, so this is the animation that we're going to save. And as you can see, it fades in and fades out. Um, this is important. So this means that um, the animation is partly transparent. So here, for example, you see that the bar is semi-transparent. And this is not possible with a GIF which is why we need to save it to the, um, the, co the background color that, that you need because the GIF will only save um, fully transparent or fully opaque pixels. So if we're going to save this to a white background, for example, which is called a white mat, um, it will calculate the, the color that it needs to look as if it was semi-transparent. So it will be a blend between white and blue. Similarly, if we're going to save it to a red background, it will calculate the, um, the color and it will be a blend between red and blue. So, yeah, let's just uh, save this. All you need to do is go to File, um, Save for Web. And there you'll see the animation. As you can see, now it became fully um, blue as it's not possible to save the GIF semi-transparent. So yeah, you can change settings if you want, but it's not necessary. The only thing we need to do is set the mat. Now it's set to none. If we set it to white, for example, you'll see that it becomes a blend between the white and the blue, as if it was saved to a white background. Same for black, it becomes uh, much more dark. If we're going to use a custom color, for example, red, um, this is what it will look like. By the way, not all animations uh, have this fading, but uh, it's also important for um, to make it look good on the edges. So if we'll go to um, if we'll go a bit further in the animation and zoom a bit, you'll see that there's always this red um, edge because the edges also have some semi-transparent uh, pixels. So this means that it will look. Um, much better on a red background now. So yeah, we'll just press save and let's save it here. And let's see how it looks. So as you can see, it starts out quite red and ends red as well, because this is where the animation is most transparent. So this one would look perfect on our red background. So the light theme is saved with a white mat, the dark theme is saved with a black mat, and the um, medium theme is saved with a grey mat. Um, so if you choose a light background, the um, closer to white, the better. So if you have a very light grey or a light blue or yellow background, um, for sure it will still look good. But if you go a bit more into the brighter colors, um, it will not look that good anymore. So your your better option will be to edit the Photoshop files. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hope this was useful and um, thank you for watching.